An unsettling situation at a Culpeper school today. The high school was put on a stay in place order after law enforcement sources tell the news for I team ammunition was found in a bathroom ceiling. Now, although police issued the all clear a short time later, it wasn't the end for the I team. They started getting calls about who responded to that emergency. Investigative reporter Ted Oberg and the I team were confirming details as the incident unfolded. Ted, what happened? Heard about it very quickly. It is enough of a concern, Sean and Jim, that ammunition was found above that ceiling tile at the high school. But here's what we know. The stay in place order started mid morning over concerns the ammunition found could be part of a larger plan there at Culpeper High School. Officers from the city of Culpeper, the county sheriff's office, and state police all responded. Thankfully, after a search that took hours, Culpeper schools say students were released from the stay-in-place order. But as you point out, it's far from the end of the story. Two law enforcement sources plus a parent of a high school student tell the I-team they have concerns about the teenage son of the sheriff responding to the emergency himself. Look at the photo sources sent the I team from the response. That's someone in plain clothes wearing a sheriff's office tactical vest. The issue is we're told he's a 17 year old student at the high school and also the son of Culpeper County Sheriff Scott Jenkins. Sources say that teenager was in school when the stay in place began and left the building to grab the vest from his truck and join the response. In Virginia, law enforcement officers must be 18 and have a high school diploma or GED. If that young man is still in high school class today, chances are he doesn't have that. Staffing records obtained by the I-Team earlier this year show an employee of the sheriff's office with the same name as Jenkins Dunn started his job there last summer, making almost $20,000. Sheriff spokesperson told the I-Team support staff was at the school to assist today but wouldn't confirm it was the sheriff's son, instead saying, there are two people with the same first and last name who work as civilian support during major events. The I team heard a lot of questions from Culpepper today. Who allowed the teenage son to leave during a stay in place order to join the law enforcement response? Did any of the highly trained first responders at the scene turn him away and send him back to class? And just what was his role in the midst of this possible emergency? We haven't heard back from the sheriff's office on any of those points. Jim? A lot of questions from a lot of parents, perhaps staff and students too. Ted, Thank thanks so. so much. All of this comes as the I-Team has been reporting on Sheriff Jenkins recently, who is running for re-election. Sheriff Jenkins is facing federal charges for allegedly accepting bribes in connection to his auxiliary deputy program. By the way, he has pled not guilty.